Hey guys, I'm back with another video, another new bike, or actually I should say uh, trike, <laughs> because it has three wheels. Uh, you can see it in the back there. Uh, it's a foldable electric scooter, you can say. Uh, it's uh, quite interesting and I'm gonna do an unboxing and uh, vlog about it. We're gonna drive it in a minute and uh, see what it is. Okay, let's uh, open up this box. This one is really sealed in properly with a lot of tape. bubble wrap as you can see there's the seat and the bike completely wrapped the foil but uh, I guess it's good to keep the moist out Keep it all very clean. Handlebars are separate. Uh, to open up this bike is a little bit tricky. But here I succeeded. First put the seat in place. Very well connected with big screws, and here the handlebars are also very secure, locked. And here make little adjustments. Fit it to your needs. Peel off the foil, and with the key you can switch on the bike. Here's the charger. There's the booklet with all the information in it that you need, all the specs and all the details that nobody ever reads, but it's there. Hey guys, today is the 16th of October. It's not very warm outside. Um, but it will have to do. I was hoping for a sunny day, but today uh, we're gonna look at uh, some remarkable new folding bicycle, or is it a bicycle? Uh, it's more like a scooter, <laughs> electric scooter. Okay, here it is. Let's walk around it a little bit. You see it has two wheels quite an interesting design it is foldable it has two big batteries here in the back can see so that means uh, you have uh, a long ways to go on one charge I think about 40 to 70 kilometers I think the maximum speed is about uh, 35 or something 
depending on the weather if it's cold you're going a little fast is you're going a little slower if it's hot you're going a little faster and it has this folding mechanism here in the middle I have to see where to put the camera to uh, to actually show you um, so let's do that first okay now we're gonna fold the bike uh, there's a handle here you just fold it and there you go oh stay and here you can even click it so it's really secure so it's not doesn't move anymore and now here you have a handle you can take that security off you take it with the by the back uh, something like this and then uh, it's ready to go easy peasy okay here's the bike again I'm not at my usual location there's a lot of noise here and the location is not really pretty but it ha will have to do um, okay here we have uh, the brakes let's uh, check that it's, it's uh, they're, they're actually quite good and they're not uh, moving a lot so that's nice here the other one has also uh, not sure if it's a drum brake or uh, it's brand new I hadn't have time to uh, to really uh, fully go into the specs but here in the front if is the shocks two shocks that's nice um, now here's the folding mechanism which is quite uh, interesting because here you see you have one big bar coming from this side moving all the way to this side so it's actually quite strong and then here it's uh, connected with a bolt and here is a mechanism that yeah is just uh, bolted on here somehow it's quite uh, remarkable how the designer did this job <laughs> now here is the two batteries in the back and here is even oh here's also the brakes in the back too and some folding uh, st uh, stand for your feet for the back passenger because there's also a back seat here for a child and so it has the not sure how you call this the for the pedals it's not pedals but it's a stand a feet stand or something okay and the other side as well of course and here is not a brake but something else this is the name I don't know really how you pronounce it but uh, this is how they call it uh, now here in the front is uh, something that will lock the bicycle from steering and uh, that is, uh, has, is a little bit getting used to if you oh, take this handle out then now you can steer the wheel wheels I should say and now trying to get it back in place that is a little bit tricky okay here is the mechanism that uh, folds it in place so now it doesn't move anymore and uh, that's quite uh, that's that you need to put uh, if you if you if you want to put it in standstill so it stands on its own uh, two feet then that's what you need to do and also uh, to put this back in place you need to move it a little bit maneuver it a little bit and then you can put it back here's the handlebars with the two brakes front and back 
here's the display and the throttle here on the side and here is the contact where you switch the bike on and here we have uh, uh, the horn and uh, the lights you can switch it on and you have the left and right uh, indicator in the back and the lights are now switched on although it's very dim at this moment here some lights are burning i guess that's for the battery i don't know why they are red but and here the front light is burning bright so we have that they even have their own brand of brakes so that's quite interesting they like to keep everything uh, by themselves let's say and now here below is uh, a switch i don't know if you can see it uh, where you can here where you can switch to left and right and in the middle and i'm not really sure which one is what it I haven't figured it out yet but overall this is about uh, what uh, what it looks like okay guys uh, let's uh, I've switched the camera and let's take it out for a spin first uh, move up this bar here so it unlocks the steering mechanism uh, can we already see the light if I have the light let's switch on the light see without without that lock it doesn't want to stand see but let's switch on the light is it on yes it is on okay now it takes a little bit of use to uh, balancing on this bike but you will see it will it will work if you drive slowly it's very uh, comfortable especially with, uh, with the steering mechanism a little bit bumpy road here and it's very dark i'm not sure how much still have here difficult with the camera in my hand of course we got a little bit of light here and, uh, but you have to keep both hands on the wheel I guess here it's working okay let's go into this over thing quite cold now I'm driving uh, 20 uh, 27 kilometers per hour 30 and let's uh, slow down for this part here okay, no cars wait a second Yeah. <laughs> she asked if I build it myself, the bicycle. Well, what do you think? <laughs> OK, 
Okay, here we go. We're gonna pick up some more speed here. Let's go maximum speed. 32, 33, 34, 35. You have to keep your balance, so keep both hands on the wheel. 35.8, that is the max, I think, but it's quite windy today. But uh, people seem to notice this bicycle. They've of course never seen it before. So it's quite unique. That is very true. Let's stop here. And then move to the other side. not gonna make the video too long because this is not my uh, my part of town it's not so pretty and the roads are not so stable um, so maybe I'm gonna do another another part two of this bike I'm not sure but uh, I hope you uh, have seen a little bit of what this bike is and what it can do. And uh, it is useful to you. And uh, here you, you see you can move a little bit like this. Okay, and this is the end for me. Okay guys, this is the end of the video, um, I hope you found it useful, thank you for watching. Below here, below the video is a, a link where you can uh, purchase the bike or get information and uh, till next time, ciao!